Cruising is a popular family vacation with home ports all over the United States. And Miami has long been known as the cruise capital of the world. This is Family Travel, and I'm Colleen Kelly. On this episode, we're hitting the high seas. On this family vacation, my kids and I are bringing along some more family members. My aunt, uncle, and niece are joining us for the ride. On this floating resort, we'll splash, chow down, and learn from all the experts. We'll also discover Grand Turk, a port of call. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Funding provided by... Parents say travel is educational. Kids just think it's fun. It's gotten me up close to dinosaurs, sharks, even real rockets. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. Cruising is a great way to spend quality time with your family. It's a popular choice for family reunions because there is such a wide variety of food, entertainment, and activities. It introduces you to new cultures, people, and the high seas. It's the perfect way to spend a fun and relaxing family vacation. More than 10 million people take a cruise each year. The Caribbean is one of the most popular cruise destinations in the world. But for some people, the ship itself is the primary destination. There are more than 300 seagoing ships in the world. Collectively, they can accommodate over 300,000 passengers per day. Many people don't realize what it takes for a cruise ship to operate. On this vacation, we'll give you the insider's look on how to cruise with ease and what it takes to run this floating resort. Before embarking on a cruise vacation, you and your family will be required to have proper identification, such as a government-issued ID. However, many cruise lines recommend you bring your passport. It is especially important for the kids since the passport is their only form of ID. Many cruise ships use a card system, so passengers don't have to carry cash or credit cards. So remember now, these sailor sign cards are your dining card, credit card, boarding pass. When you're finally done with check-in and you enter the atrium, you are greeted by a sea of friendly faces and a welcome party. Here's a tip. While some passengers are having fun and others are getting to their room, I recommend going straight to the excursion desk. Many cruises offer day trips to different ports of call. Shore excursions offered through the cruise company are an additional cost. Some people save money by using tour companies at the port of call or by going on a self-guided tour. Once you have your excursions planned, you will be ready to head to your room. Crew members are available to help direct you. Take my advice and drop off your carry-on bags before the ship sets sail. The girls and I break off from the rest of the family in search of our room. We got a cabin large enough for the three of us to share. Look at that. Look what's on the bed. Whoa, this guy's so cool. I know. Don't you wonder how they made it? Yes. Well, guess what I bought you? A little treat. Towel creations. You can make your own. Ooh, Wanna thank do it? you. Let me try this. OK, so take this towel right here. OK. Go sit over here and see if you can make an elephant or something else, whatever you want. OK? Quick tip I learned about the cruise. First of all, you don't get your luggage to about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Could be sooner. But what do you want to do when you get on a cruise? You want to have fun. You want to go to the pool. So the best thing to do is take all of your bathing suits and stick them in a carry-on. Right there where you can get them right away because they have towels there and you're set. So I always do that. I grab the kids. I grab mine. That way you don't have to worry about your luggage and you can head to the pool and have fun. Need to know what to bring on a cruise? Well, you don't need a hair dryer, and they even have robes. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your valuables or your passport because there's a safe in every room. So now that we've scoped out the room and locked up the valuables, it's time to set sail. We meet up with the rest of the family as we prepare to leave port. 
Be sure to check if your cruise offers a sail away celebration where the guests dance, mingle, and wave as the ship departs. It's a great way to kick off your vacation. The start of our vacation, so we should yeah. uh, say bon voyage. 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 Bon Now that we've checked out the room and the ship has set sail, let's go find out what keeps this larger-than-life vehicle moving. To keep this city afloat, there are thousands of crew members who all play a vital role in the day-to-day -day operations. While the rest of the family explore the ship, I had the rare opportunity to meet the man in charge, Captain Stefano. What are your responsibilities as captain of the ship? Being the captain, I'm responsible of all the ship, of all the safety of uh, guests and crew, and to be sure that everything is done uh, with the following our procedures. And so the responsibilities of the entire operation is under my position. Everything's under you? Yes. Wow. They also say that you're the brains of the ship. So what does that mean? Brain and the hands, because without the hands, I cannot park the ship. Mainly all maneuvers are done by the captain, so I need the hands as well. Brains and hands. Okay, so where do you steer? Okay, we usually have always a person here, the quartermaster that is steering under my orders, and he's mainly staying here. This, if you want to hold, this, yes. this is, is so a small, small one, yes. I would expect You can try it. Big... I mean, we are parking, so nothing is going to happen. You sure you want yeah, me to steer? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Oh, this yes, steers yes. this entire ship? This yes, little... yes, yes. I mean, because in my head, as a regular person, I kind of think of like one of these Yeah, big but in the old, old days, fashion. in the old days, small ship had a big wheel. Now we have a big ship with a small wheel. I then find my way to the captain's seat, where he and the navigators keep a lookout for boats and land on the horizon. When docking the boats, the captain keeps a close eye on all of his instruments that tell him his proximity to the shore. Now that I know who is safely steering the ship, I'm going to sit back <laughs> and relax with my family for some fun in the sun. Where's the best place to catch some rays and cool off? At the pool. The pool deck on a cruise ship tends to get busier as the day goes on. A great tip is to arrive early and locate a home base, which can also be used as a meeting point with family members throughout the day. Since many cruise lines don't have lifeguards on duty, I recommend hopping in the pool with the kids and having fun. After a fun day at the pool, it's time to get some grub. Cruises are known for the endless and wide variety of food options. While the meals in the ship's dining room and buffets are included in the cost, many cruise lines are adding alternative dining options for an additional fee. Cruising can offer a lot of bang for your buck, but don't forget to factor in extra costs such as tipping. Food lines on a cruise can be long. Dine early or late for less crowds. Another tip is to divide and conquer. One parent can find the table with the kids, while the other is getting the food. Did you ever wonder how such a big ship can move in the water? Or how the mechanics of the ship function? We'll meet the chief engineer to get all of our questions answered. All right, so we had some kids' questions, right? What did you want to ask the how chief fast engineer? Does the ship move? Being this big shoe box is quite fast, actually. You know, faster than we think. The maximum speed is 23.5 knots. One note is one nautical mile per hour. You could actually do water ski behind the ship. <laughs> For, with this Should we yes. try that? Yeah, right. So that's pretty fast, though. Yeah. OK. And I think it's we got fast. some more. Let's see, Shay had one, right, Shay? Shoot. How long is the ship? It's 298 meters long, which are approximately 1,000 feet. Yeah. And it's 15 story high outside of the water. 15 stories high? Yeah. That's, that's, that's uh, bigger than I thought. OK. <laughs> that's Is that big? Water level Considering the up to the top of the chimney of the funnel, yes. I know what it takes to fill up a car, but like, how much fuel does this ship take? At regular speed, we will consume about 10 tons of fuel per 10 hour. 10 tons? I can't even like eight, fathom 10 eight, tons. 8 to 10 tons, let's say. How many propellers are there? We have actually eight propellers. Two are main propellers for the propulsion, right. the bigger one. And then we have uh, six uh, uh, side propellers, which are the called boat thrusters and stem thrusters. Thanks again, Mr. Engineer. Now it's time to play. Off to find the slides. Many cruises offer water fun. We found unique slides, including a twister and even one like a drain pipe. 
Did you know that you can teach your kids science while enjoying a water slide? Well, you can. Newton's law of motion states that an object in motion will stay in motion until something pushes or pulls on it. So, one of the main factors slowing you down on the slides is the friction from your bathing suit. If you want to go fast, make sure you wear a slick bathing suit. The girls and I really had fun on the slides with Uncle Dick. He was a good sport and went down with us a few times. I think that's what family vacations are all about. Just being silly together and having fun. The family is focused on being with each other and having a great time. Ever wonder how they prepare all this food? We're about to get a lesson from the chef himself. Our family had a chance to learn how this ship stays efficient in the kitchen. A chef and his kitchen staff in any restaurant have a difficult task. But on a cruise ship, the heat is on. A ship like this can feed up to 4,500 guests plus staff in an evening. It's up to the chef and kitchen staff to come up with creative ways to cut down the prep time for each dish. Another obstacle the kitchen staff faces is the no flame policy. For safety reasons, cruise kitchens can't allow open flames. Therefore, recipes have to be adaptable to an induction heat source. Most cruise lines prepare complex recipes, but they're able to accommodate guest needs and special requests. My girls had the opportunity to create a dish the cruise way. Okay, guys, we are going to do a shrimp cocktail today. Uh, it is, and it is also very popular with the guests. The slicing of food, like in the appetizer dish we are about to prepare, was all done in a separate room, then was brought to the kitchen for assembly. The shrimp cocktail consists of three shrimp that need to be laid at an angle, followed by a handful of lettuce, a few slices of radish, a carrot shaving, chive, and to top it off, lemon. For added flavor, we will, of course, need some cocktail sauce. That's the way we do it, uh, because we just separate the sauce from the shrimps, because some of the time the guest doesn't want the sauce. And we are doing around 600 portions every time. 600, 600 of these? 600 portions, yeah. So wow. Yeah, all individually done? Individually done. So do you need all the help you can get then? Uh, yeah. Because there's two workers are right here. Are you volunteering? <laughs> now that we know how to do it, it's time for the girls to give it a try. Three slices, three slices. That's it. Wow. Another exciting thing about cruising is that you can explore other cities and cultures. The majority of the passengers on board visit the Port of Call. Try to beat the crowds by getting up early to disembark. And don't wait for the very last minute to reboard, because you'll need to go through a security check that could take some time. We reached our Port of Call, the beautiful island of Grand Turk. It's a gorgeous day, so let's go explore. Grand Turk is the capital of the Turk and Caicos Islands, and it is located 575 miles southeast of Miami, Florida, and 30 miles south of the Bahamas. This English-speaking island is an overseas territory of the United Kingdom. It is approximately seven miles long and 1.5 miles wide. About 4,500 people inhabit the island. Coburn Town is the centerpiece of the island with several historical buildings and an unforgettable rustic charm. Here, you'll find many Bermudian and colonial style buildings. The weather in Turks and Caicos is consistently beautiful, with temperatures in the mid 80s year round. Grand Turk has 350 days of sunshine. One of the most popular destinations right off the ship is the beach. The soft sand is a perfect spot for families to relax and play for the day. Kids love splashing in the clear blue turquoise water. All beaches are open to the public and are free of charge. Let's start off our exploration of the island with some smooth kayaking. This excursion is a great way to enjoy the natural beauty of Grand Turk. I'm going to also be giving you some instructions about kayaking around here. Is there anybody first time we're going to be doing some kayaking? Yeah. Your first time? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, no problem. This is my second time. No, oh, really? My first time was on the Nintendo Wii. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Just joking around. I've been kayaking <laughs> for a while around here. Your hands must be 15 or 16 inches apart in the middle. So that's going to cut right through the water. But if you hold it like this, you can dip that water, pull it, and show it back. Oh, I see. It's going to be real good. Turn it this good. way, so yeah. you push away the, the water. You have to hold it okay. good. And you can juke that water. You can't hurt it. Okay. Good. <laughs> Are you smiling? OK. That's your kayak faces. That's good. But around here is two people per kayak, heavier in the front, and the lighter person behind, because we do that in, for balance. What are we going to see? Sometimes you may see a green sea turtle pass through and a stingray also. We have stuff like sea cucumber, sea urchins, wow. like the mullets. You can see some ground snappers, many different fishes. We're excited. You ready, girls? All right. Yeah. All right. You ready, Heather? Yes. OK, let's go. Look at the beach, girls. Yeah. Woo! We've arrived. Our water excursion isn't over yet. We get up close and personal with some sea creatures. This one right here is the black spiny sea urchin, the one with the longest spines of all. If you step on this barefooted by mistake, mm -hmm. it can break off. It's very fragile. All right. And if you leave it in there for too long, it can become painful. But my friends, if you do step on it by mistake, do not think about all that pain that's rushing to your feet, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Think about how to calm that pain down. Next, we come around to Juanito's favorite, the sea cucumber. Some people call it the um, sea slug, and it cleans up the bottom like a vacuum. Now, that right there, my friends, is the queen conch. And can anybody tell me why they call it the queen conch? Why do you think they call it the queen conch? You? Because it's big and it has tons of colors on it. Oh, that's. I'll, I'll give you a pass on that one. But because they say the top look like a crown, they call it the queen conch around here. He's going to show you the spiny lobster. We also have lobster in North Creek around here. <laughs> like that. Okay. They don't bite, do they? No bite. No, no. Okay. <laughs> they don't have oh teeth, God. can't bite. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You really You're right. brave. After looking at all the sea creatures, we had time to explore the beach. The girls had fun searching for shells with their cousin. What'd you find? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. You going to take it home? I want to. That's awesome. What a fun and relaxing way to spend the morning. Now let's head off on our next excursion, cruising on the Flowrider. The Flowrider allows kids and adults to experience the thrill of body and kneeboarding in a fun and controlled environment. There is even a knee and body boarding lesson before you attempt the Flowrider. The Flowrider creates a two to three inch layer of water that moves over a cushioned surface at an incredibly fast speed. It's not easy, though the instructors make it look simple with all the tricks they can do on the boards. Hopefully you remember to grab your towel from the ship. You'll definitely need it after the Flowrider. Grand Turk also offers shopping, dining options, and relaxing beaches. Dick and Pat ventured off on their own to explore the island's local churches and historic sites. Grand Turk can also be found in the history books as one of the first sites of landfall for an American spacecraft. On February 20th, 1962, Lieutenant Colonel John Glenn and his spacecraft, Friendship 7, landed in the Atlantic Ocean after being the first to orbit the Earth. A replica of the craft is displayed on the island because it was the first site of landfall. Don't miss the opportunity to be part of space history. What an amazing day in Grand Turk. Now it's time to head back to the ship for some more family fun. Cruises offer spa services, including manicures, pedicures, massages, and many other relaxing treatments. Salon and spa treatments also carry an additional fee. However, going on port days or towards the end of your cruise may help save you money. With all the tempting treats on board a cruise ship, it can be easy to gain a few pounds during a week at sea. Thankfully, many cruise ships offer a variety of exercise options for the whole family. The cruise we're on offers a sky course where all ages can test their balancing skills. Most athletic activities on board are free, though some fitness classes are an additional fee.
The key to any successful family vacation is planning. Each family member has different interests, and it's not always easy to make everyone happy. It's important that the itinerary offers something appropriate for everyone involved. With so much to do on board, I met with the cruise director to learn how a cruise accommodates multi-generational family travelers. As a cruise director, what are some family activities that you would recommend? Well, the big things are our shows, our live shows, and not just our shows that feature our singers and dancers, but those are all family friendly and fun for everybody. For the older people in the family, the adults and parents, maybe the music in the show is yeah. the thing. For the kids, it's sort of the technology and the costumes and the pyrotechnics. So how often do you change up these activities? So a lot of our activity programming, like the trivias, the games, the pool events and things like that, we will change those things based on our demographic on board. As the seasons change, we are changing, always trying to invent new activities, things that would appeal to different audiences. Love that. Trying to, we have 4,700 guests here on board, so. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> So it's to, people. to make things available all the time yeah. to all of those different types of people is important to us, that everybody's having a positive cruise experience, especially when they interact with um, our entertainment team. Yeah, absolutely. Vacations are meant for relaxing. Many challenges of family vacations is finding time for the adults to have some downtime. What sets cruising apart from other vacation destinations is that most cruise lines offer free kids clubs where the children can have supervised playtime. And while family vacations are all about spending time together, it's also nice to have a little break in the day to meet and play with other children. During the day, kids can enjoy art projects, screen movies, and have their very own pool parties. Your kids are in good hands, as many cruise ships require counselors to have education and experience in childcare. Keep in mind, some of the kids' club excursions and activities, as well as after-hours babysitting, will require an additional fee. Sometimes it's hard to please teenagers. To help, many cruise lines offer activities such as outdoor movies, games, teen-only pool parties, and excursions at the port of call. Keep in mind, some areas are designated for adults only review with your kids what venues are suited for their age group. A cruise is a good option for big family gatherings because everyone can find activities that they like to do. Not only are there activities for the individual, but families of all generations will have a blast on cruise ships. Family vacations are a great opportunity to reconnect and make new memories and we got the chance to spend quality time together playing chess. What about this one? That's the castle. That only moves up and down. As many spaces as you, as you want. This is great because I've never learned how to play chess ever, sadly. <laughs> I know, it's sad. So I couldn't carry it, like, tell them about it. Okay. But I love the fact that we're on vacation and I've, I've got time to do this and learn, finally. It wasn't easy, but it was fun. All right. All right. So this is Yay! You did All right. it. Be sure to pack some evening wear and bring your manners. One of the most anticipated nights on the cruise is formal night, where the kids have a chance to practice their manners. My Aunt Pat gave the girls a short lesson. Before we eat, the first thing we should do is what? What do you oh, think? What do you think, I'm, girls? Let's shake Very that good. napkin out and put it on your lap. <laughs> Hopefully we're going nice. to learn why these forks are all here. And yes. Can you figure out where you're going to put that roll in butter? Yes. And, and what's the hint? The, the butter knife. Oh. <laughs> and it's on your left. And where, where are the drinks? To your right. Right. You had a trick that you were showing us. Yes, you had a trick. What's Show them trick? the trick. What does that mean? What does that mean? Butterfly and drink B and D. Oh, B and D. B and D. So butter's on your crochet. What is it? Butter's on your what's left. Nice? And drinks on your right. All right. Okay. After our lesson, we were served dinner, followed by entertainment from our talented waiters and dining staff. dance like 
like that. Oh my God. There are a lot of things we hadn't seen before embarking on this Caribbean cruise. Oh yeah, this is fun. Are you smiling? Okay. That's your kayak faces. <laughs> Thanks for watching Family Travel. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. Funding provided by... Kids think travel's all about fun, but parents know it broadens horizons, introduces kids to new cultures, and makes lasting memories. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you.